it's Candace, and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, we're gonna jump into a little customization. So the cool thing about QuickBooks is there's features that you can adjust the way your invoices look, you can add logos, you can do all kinds of fun stuff to make it look the way you want and feel, not only for when you enter the data, but also what you want your customer to be able to do. So this is gonna be a couple part video series because Today's video is gonna be about adding a logo, and then in the next video, I am gonna teach you about how to do a little more customization on the lines inside of the invoice. This way, it keeps the videos short for you. All right, come look over my shoulder and I'll teach you how. So there's a couple different ways to get into what's called a template for your invoices within QuickBooks. You can go into your invoices itself and then click on formatting and manage your templates here, or I will show you the other way to get there. You can go under list templates. Then I'm gonna go in and edit my confidence with QuickBooks invoice, which is actually just a sample file. And you'll notice when you double click on it, so you can either double click, go down to the bottom and click edit, right click on it, whatever you want, but I just double click. And then you'll notice right here, it says add a logo. So if yours isn't marked, you wanna click it. Then it's gonna ask you to upload it an image. So wherever your logo is sitting on your computer, you're gonna select that, and it'll show up here. Now you notice when I first double clicked on it, it was larger. So what you'll do, when I reselect it, it's smaller, see that right there? So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go into Layout Designer, find my logo, which is here, and you can actually increase it to whatever size you want it to be and you just move it around. And then what you can do is you can grab your address and move it kind of out of the way. Now, when you're looking at this, what you'll notice is the blue little box here. That is actually, you could think of it like an envelope, you know, the window envelopes that you can get, has two windows is what I was trying to say. So this would be the from window and this is to window. So it helps you kind of figure out where you'd want things to be sitting at. So you can come in here and you can just kind of move this around. You can change your font. You could add your phone number just below where it says on the window. And that's how you actually add your logo. The other thing you can do is come in here and add any image you want here as well. So you can do it either way. All right. Then you would click, once you have it the way you want, you click OK. And you'll actually see it over here and you can go, OK, I like that. If you like it, you can click OK and you can go in and you can keep customizing it. All right. So you just double click on it. You're going to up, you know, check that you want to use a logo, choose which logo you want to upload. And then you go in and you click layout design and just go in there and get familiar with it. If you've never customized your logo, when you go in to open it up, if you're using one of the basic Intuit logo uh, invoices, they're gonna have you copy it. And then once you copy it, like here, see copy, then you go over here to manage templates and you can rename it whatever you want over here on the right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you wanna get more of my tips and tricks. I do a tip and trick every Wednesday. If you wanna get these sent to you directly in your email, there's a little I up in the right corner that you can click on or you can go to the description down below and put your name and email address and I will send you my news and my tips and tricks every week. Have an amazing day. Hope you guys are having a fabulous summer. Talk to you soon.